Howdy, guys, and welcome to Big Brother Season 24. It's finally here. Welcome to Cliff Notes, and welcome to the, the preseason cast preview. I'm not going to take more than 15 or 20 minutes. I just want to give a real quick initial impression of each of the house guests based on the, the cast reveal that we saw today. And tomorrow we get the first episode, and we get to learn what these house guests are really all about. So, Let's talk about the 16 house guests this season. They're all newbies. We don't have any returning players. 16 new house guests, kind of like that. Uh, 16 of them. We've got a lot of diversity, and CBS said they're going to do that, but we're not talking about just with ethnicity. Uh, we've got a lot of diversity also with regards to age, geography, et cetera. The average age of this house uh, is uh, of the house, house guest in the house, 30 years old. Uh, half the cast is 29 or above. The two, we've got two players, uh, they're both in their 40s, so we've got a pretty good range. The youngest player is 22, so we've got a spread of, what does that work out to, 20, 20 years, 19 years, that's pretty good. I, no 53-year-olds in the house, but we do have a, a pretty pretty good range of ages. Seems like it maybe trended up just a little older than, than we've seen in some of the seasons past, so a lot of difference in the ages. From a geographic standpoint, we've got a lot of spread as well. We've got Three people that are from California are living in California. Uh, we've got four from the Northeast, only one from New York, uh, and he's actually now living in Florida, but four that are kind of from the Northeast, three in Florida, two from Texas, and the rest spread out. Michigan, Minnesota, Utah spread out all across the United States. So I like that. We, we, we don't have a huge focus on any one part of the nation. We've got those spread out as well. Now, other other little bit of spread we've got a uh, single versus married we've got four house guests that are married which means we've got 12 house guests that are single ready to mingle i suppose uh six six females six males uh that are single i'm sure that was just coincidental right yeah now well, i'm sure the anticipation is we may see a, a showman or two this see that we'll talk about that a little bit as we look at the house guests so uh with that being said what we don't have, a little disappointing old boss. Huh? We don't have anyone from Texas A&M as far as I know. Uh, seems like we went through quite a few seasons with the Aggies in there. Not this season, so that's all right. We'll, we'll have to make do. Uh, now, some of the, the interviews before we talk about individuals, it seems like every single person that was interviewed this season when asked about their favorites said Derek. No surprise there. But, but Tyler Crispin is, as well. And no, no big surprise. I, mean, I love Tyler. But everyone talked about what huge fans they are of Tyler and they want to mimic his game and all that. All that makes me think is, are we going to have a dozen house guests that are all trying to make final two with, with a dozen other house guests in the house and, and everyone's got to have a final two with everyone else? We'll find out. That can bring its own version of chaos, right? Uh, so we've got that. Now, before we start talking about the individual house guests, I recognize that this is very premature. I'm going off of an interview or two that, that uh, uh, we saw in some magazines, uh, a very quick little video from each of the house guests. I'm looking forward to a lot of these house guests proving me wrong. As soon as I got out of the Big Brother house, first thing I did is I went back and I watched all the cast previews to see who, who said good things, who said not so good things and all that. So if you are someone who's in the house right now and you're watching after the season, or if you're the family of, of one of these house guests, this, this is all premature. This is just first impressions. And I look forward to being proven wrong by, by a lot of these forecasts. It's all good. I, my, I try to focus on positivity as much as I can. I'm going to do that uh, this evening as well. So with that being said, let's get into the cast impressions. Uh, no particular order, but let's start off uh, with all these. I'm going to keep it quick because, again, the idea behind Cliff Notes uh, is that I, I want to only go you know, a minute or two, go 15 minutes, 20, 20 minutes per per overnight feeds and, and tonight as well. So we'll go fast with it. First house guest that we have, Alyssa Snyder, 24 years old from Florida. Uh, she's a marketing rep and yes, yeah, she is single. Uh, now she talks about the fact that she thinks people are going to underestimate her as a young bubbly girl. She is one of the younger ones in the house. So I, she's probably right on that. Uh, but she also talks about that she doesn't like loud, obnoxious players. Big Brother tends to get a few of those in the house. You got to be a little, little tolerant at times, but she doesn't like loud, obnoxious players. Uh, she says that she's watched every season. We'll, we'll see if that's the case or not, but she says she's watched a, a lot of the seasons. I definitely see some showman's potential 
uh, for Melissa. And I think that will probably help her game. I think that's going to help get her in with some other uh, strong players. Uh, and so there you go. Now, I'm going to try to make predictions on every one of these players, not their exact finish, but pre-jury, jury, early jury, or late jury. With Alyssa uh, and her situation, I think she'll have enough uh, personality, and the showmance may help as well. I I'm predicting that Alyssa could make it to final five. Yeah, I know. That's, that's, uh, that's quite the, uh, the first prediction. I can see Alyssa making the final five. We'll see if that's the case or not. All right, next house guest that we've got. Amira Jones, 31 years old. She's from Maryland. She's a content designer. The internet? I, I guess so. Uh, Amira is also single. Now, Amira, sh she didn't have a lot of words in her interviews, but she, she just came right out and said it. She said, look, I'm very straightforward. I I'm going to tell you how I feel, whether that's good or whether that's bad. I you're going to know what I'm thinking about you. I'm always going to be pretty honest and, and straightforward with the truth itself. It's a little dangerous inside the Big Brother house. There's, there's people that carry grudges and, and remember things that you said. Uh, sometimes being straight up honest isn't, isn't always the best policy in there, but she, she likes to always let people know where she's at. Uh, she does not like Alliance two-timers. She wants people in her alliance to be committed only to their alliance, not be floating off somewhere else. Uh, so she's not going to tolerate those kind of people. I think because... She sounds like she, she really wants to kind of lay it on the line and tell people exactly what's going on. I think she may end up in those first few weeks rubbing someone the wrong way. Someone's going to take something a little bit personal. And as a result, my predi prediction for Amira, I think she could finish pre-jury. Amira, I, I, I hope I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm calling it a, a potential pre-jury uh, boot for Amira. All right, next house guest, Brittany Hoops, 32 years old, originally from Atlanta. Now she's in Austin. She's a hypnotherapist. Woo! Now, watching the video interview with, uh, with Brittany was kind of funny. Most people sitting from here to there uh, doing their videos. Brittany was more of the, welcome, I'm Brittany. Uh, yeah, she was, she was very close. You, you, you got to see everything you wanted to see uh, with Brittany. She was talking very close to the camera. Uh, now, she's a hypnotherapist. I don't think that means that she's going to be in there trying to hypnotize people and convince them to do hey, none of that. Watch the, the clocks and all that. But it may really help her in this game in terms of staying relaxed and having exercises that are going to help her to stay focused on what needs to be done. I, I think there may be some advantages uh, with that. Another advantage she may have, she's a competitive belly dancer, which sounds pretty cool to me. It means that she may surprise some people in terms of some of these competitions and such. She is a super fan. She talked about that she had 40 plus pages of notes on all the different things that could happen, how she'd handle it. Being a super fan is great. Sometimes you got to be a little careful that you, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if, if that helps her or it hurts her. Extra points for Brittany for saying that her favorite player of past seasons was Nicole Anthony. I, I got to admire that. Yeah, so uh, Nicole's one of her, her absolute favorites. Uh, prediction, she's going to come in prepared. Uh, she's ready to play the game strategic. I think she understands the game well enough, but I'm afraid that she may end up being pre-jury because at some point, I think someone's just going to say she's expendable. I don't know that she'll have the tightest connections with others in the house. And as a result, she may get booted early, not because she's done anything wrong, but just because she just doesn't have tight enough connections. Remember, this is all very, this is preseason. So, uh, uh, but that's my pick for, for Brittany is she could be pre-jury. All right, next house guest we've got Daniel Durston, 35 years old, originally from California, but now he lives in, I assume he lives in, he's a performer in Vegas. Now, I saw a clip somewhere saying that maybe he's an Elvis personator. I don't have that confirmed, so, so I don't know. But he's some kind of performer uh, in Las Vegas. He is six foot three. I am amazed. There's, I think, about four guys in this house that are six foot three, six foot four. We got a lot of big people in the house this, this season. Tall wise, not, not, not big wise. But uh, uh, he is a, uh, he's six foot three. He works in Vegas as a performer, which means he's probably a very, open, you know, a very uh, charismatic type, type of individual and all that. Uh, he mentioned that he doesn't really want to work with big alpha males. He doesn't necessarily like working with them. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, but he doesn't want to work with the big males. Uh, he thinks that his type of humor, I assume he may have a little bit of sarcasm and all. He says his type of humor might, might get him in trouble occasionally if people don't appreciate his humor so he's going to have to watch out for that. He sounds like he's probably going to be a fun guy. His interview, he seemed like he's a pretty fun guy. 
He is a huge Big Brother super fan. I love me the Big Brother super fans, absolutely. Uh, so I, I think Daniel could be one of these others that finds his way into a final five. Yeah, I'm predicting Daniel as a final five. We'll talk about my winner's pick in just a second, but I think he'll be a final five. All right, next house guest, we've got Indy Santos, 31 years old. She lives in LA, but she's originally from Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, she's still, uh, Big Brother's huge in Brazil. Uh, so she's probably got a lot of family back home that's excited as well. But she's originally from Brazil. She's got uh, still a bit of a Brazilian accent and all of that. She's a corporate flight attendant, which means she's used to working with uh, the cream of the crop in terms of service and everything else. Wonder how she'll handle living in the Big Brother house where you, you don't necessarily get the, the A-level uh, service and everything else. Uh, she's single. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. She talks about the fact that she's very straightforward. She, she acknowledges that being straightforward for her may get her in trouble. Uh, and she seems, she seems willing to pretty much say whatever needs to be said uh, out there. Uh, she talks about the fact that she doesn't like lazy people. Uh, and that may be tough in the house. Some, some people do a little more work in there. She doesn't like lazy people at all. She, she doesn't have a lot of big brother knowledge. She doesn't have any big brother. That's just to say, say what is. She doesn't have any big brother knowledge. When she was asked for her favorite player, she said, of course, last season, uh, the, the person who won, Xavier, Xavier, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. I have a feeling she may have just watched a few episodes one season or so and, uh, and read some recaps and things like that. Uh, I don't think she's got a lot of Big Brother knowledge. And I, I think that she may have some showman's potential. But unfortunately for, uh, for Indy, I don't think she sticks around long enough to actually get to to utilize uh, that showman's potential. Yeah, I'm I'm calling for uh, for Indy to to probably uh, probably I, I'm calling for her to go out pre-jury. In fact, I'm calling for Indy to be the first boot, the very first boot out the door. Now that could all change based on twist and obviously personalities and and everything else. But I could see her going home pretty early. Uh, I just think she's uh, uh, she she may rub some people uh, the wrong way, uh, as I've said with some other. I, I hope she proves me wrong, but uh, I, I think she's going to have to do a lot of work to to try to fit in with uh, with some of the other folks and and adjust to to living in, in a house with with a lot of a lot of other folks. All right, next house guest that we've got up, Jasmine Davis, twenty nine years old, uh, originally from Mississippi, lives in Atlanta now, uh, an entrepreneur. Uh, first married house guest that, that we're going to talk about. So, so probably, hopefully not, not a showman's potential there. Uh, now, Jasmine didn't have a lot of words in her interviews, any of them. I, she, she had a few things to say, but she, she's not one to, to go on and on with, with the verbiage. Uh, she did talk about that she wants to partner with, with the underdogs. She wants to avoid the jocks uh, and really, really stick with the underdogs. Because of that statement alone, I've got her pegged in as a prediction for pre-jury. I admire the underdogs. I cheer for the underdogs. But when you're inside the house, you don't want to be with the underdogs. You're much better off being with a big group. And if you've got to ride coattails, do whatever it takes in the beginning to make it further into the game, uh, you do it. But when you intentionally try to work for the underdogs, sometimes that, that suggests that you may be an underdog as well because of that. Uh, I've got Jasmine potentially going out as one of the pre-jury boots. All right, next house guest that we've got, Joe Pooch, Poochere, Poocherelli. I hope I'm pronouncing that okay. Uh, 24 years old, originally from Staten Island. Now he's working uh, down in Florida as an assistant football coach. Uh, he's single. And every time I look at this guy, all I could think was Tommy Brocco lookalike for my season. He just reminds me of Tommy. And then I look at his bio. He's from Staten Island, just like Tommy. He talks about his Italian roots and everything. So uh, there's a little bit of similarities, but he did talk about the fact that he actually now lives in Florida. He maybe feels like he has more in common with the Floridians than he does with, with the folks up in, in uh, New York and all that. But he's, he's going to play it up as best he can. If people make assumptions about him being a New Yorker and all that, he'll, uh, he'll play the game as well. Uh, he's, he's, he's laid back. I, he talks about how he wants to play with level-headed people. I understand that completely. That's kind of what I was thinking as well. Uh, he wants to be a trust, trustworthy person. He's really going to try to fall on that, depend on that, uh, and just be himself while he's in the house. I, I, I get it. There's a lot of things I saw. I think he's wanting to go by Pooch, so we'll, we'll call him Pooch for now. Uh, I certainly see showman's potential 
uh, with Pooch. He's the right age. I think he, he's got the charisma. I, I could easily see him getting into the showmance. Uh, for Pooch, I've got a prediction that he makes it to the final five. We'll see how close I am on some of these. All right, next house guest we've got, Kyle Kapener. I hope I'm pronouncing these. Uh, we'll, we'll forget the last names. We'll just use first names probably when we go through the season. But Kyle Kapener, 29 years old, from Utah, says he's unemployed. Yeah, yeah it's, it's tough to keep a job while you're away in a house for three and a half months. But he says he's unemployed at the time. Single, another tall guy, a six foot three. So it's a big old guy. Uh, he talks about the fact that uh, he said at one point, he said, yeah, I'm tall, but I'm, I don't have those big old muscles. I got these old, little gangly arms and all that. Uh, he says he wants to avoid conflict. He doesn't like conflict. Uh, he doesn't like type A dominant types. There's going to be some of those in the house. Yeah, that's, we know that looking at, looking at this, this cast list. Uh, he doesn't like that, and he likes to avoid conflicts. I, I get it. I kind of avoided them where I could as well. Uh, he also likes to use humor to diffuse situations. He said that works well, but sometimes people see that as maybe him not taking things seriously. So he's going to have to be careful about that. He talks about he's going to kind of try to play it, that maybe he's kind of the goofy guy in there. Uh, I think he'll do okay. I, I think it'll catch up to him. I, I'm calling a prediction of, of he'll be an early jury uh, boot. And when I say early jury, I, I guess jury vote six through six through nine or something like that. Yeah, I know what I mean, right? Uh, but I think he'll, he'll head out as part of the early jury. All right, next house guest we've got is Marvin Ache, 28 years old. Uh, he's from Houston by way of Nigeria. I'm not sure when, how, how long he spent in Nigeria. Uh, but he lives in Houston now. And there you go. Cheering, cheering for the Houston guy. Uh, not only that, uh, but Marvin also is a chemical engineer. Love me some engineers as well. Uh, and he's single uh, also. Uh, now, Marvin is sitting first time on TV. He was on America's Got Talent where he showed up as a chemist, but he ended up ripping off his shirt. Man, this uh, just kind of showing off to the judges. This guy is cut. He, he looks like a bodybuilder. He definitely uh, has that look to him. Um, it looks like he's probably going to be very much a comp beast as well. Uh, now, I see showman's potential with, with Marvin also. Uh, he does worry, though, that his physical muscles are going to get him pegged as a threat right, out, right in the very beginning. And I could see that. Although there are some other guys that are built like he is as well. He's worried that's going to make him as a, a threat. But he really wants to align with some of the smart players. He wants to, uh, to try to get with some of the people that really understand the game or playing the game. I think it's a good strategy. Uh, and, and as I said, he does have showmanch potential. I like Marvin. I, I'm cheering for him. He, he's from Houston. He's an engineer. He seems like a very nice guy. But with all that being said, I've got him going out and being part of the, the jury uh, at the end of the day. I don't know that he's watched as many seasons as some of the other people. So his big brother knowledge may be a little bit more limited. But we'll find out. All right, next house guest we've got Matthew, Matthew Turner, 23 years old. So he's one of the younger house guests in the house. Maybe the youngest guy, I think. Uh, he's from Massachusetts. He's a thrift store owner, and he is single also. Now, Matt, Matthew, I, maybe I'll just call him McCray, because every time I look at Matthew, he reminds me from McCray from an earlier Big Brother season, uh, which is a bad thing. I, he just reminds me of McCray. Uh, he talks in one of his interviews about living the van life. So I think there's some interesting stories uh, behind Matthew. Uh, there's already been stuff out on the internet, people talking about him. We're not going to get into all the rumors and all that, but uh, I'm, I'm curious to see how Matthew plays this game. He talks about the fact that he wants to portray himself as an artistic floater who is a bit lost. I kind of saw that during the video. Uh, he, he was talking. Sometimes he'd get a little ahead of himself, throw his hands up and back up. And uh, he's, he sounds like one of those who maybe talks a little bit faster than sometimes the brain's processing. And uh, he, he wants to portray that in the house. So, so maybe that works out well to his advantage. Uh, he talks about the fact that he doesn't like alpha types, uh, but he also realizes that he may not like them, but, but they could help him in his game. I think Matthew is pretty aware of, of some of the uh, some of the game and how it needs to work and the fact that he's going to have to give and take uh, with other people. Uh, he does say he's very high energy. He's very energetic. Uh, he's worried that he's going to come across as kind of too... Uh, too, too animated uh, inside the house, and that may turn some people off. So he's going to have to try to turn that down a little bit. Uh, Matthew, I don't know. I, I went back and forth on where I think he's going to land. And at the end, I'm calling for Matthew to, to make it to jury, but probably not much uh, beyond that. Uh, he may really surprise me. He may understand this game even better than I'm seeing. But for right now, I'm saying pre-jury, or not pre-jury, early jury uh, for, for Matthew slash McCray. 
All right. Next house guest, we've got Michael Bruner, 28 years old, from Minnesota. We don't have a lot of Minnesota house guests, uh, so I'm not sure if he's the first, but, but he's from Minnesota. He's also an attorney. I, as Xavier says, hey, you know, the attorneys seem to do pretty well. Uh, I'm thinking he's not going to tell anyone in the house that he's an attorney, especially after season 23 last year, right? I wouldn't. Uh, surely he's not. Uh, uh, he's He reminds me a little bit of, of Andy Heron. He, he just has that, that look, which is... Could be a good sign for, for Michael. Uh, he's engaged. He's not married, but he's engaged. So I assume the showmances are off the table. Six foot four. Uh, again, another six foot four. Uh, he talks about the fact he is a super fan. He says he's watched every season, Big Brother USA, Big Brother Canada, over the top celebrity, everything. So he's watched a lot of uh, Big Brother. He's going to go in playing the nerd. Uh, we had another house guest who kind of talked about they're going to play the goofy guy. And all that. Well, Michael's going to do the same thing. I think he's going to do pretty good playing that role. Uh, but I, I love it. He reminded me a little bit uh, of Steve Moses as well. Uh, and so that's how he wants to play the game. He doesn't want to work with people who won't stick their neck out for the alliance. He doesn't want the floaters. They're just kind of their name only. He wants people loyal to the cause. The difficulty is how do you determine who's truly loyal to the cause and who's going to abandon you at the first, first chance I get? You, you won't know until you play for a little bit. Uh, I, I think Michael's going to, to do pretty well. Uh, but I, I'm still calling him going out uh, early, early part of the jury phase. All right, a couple more we've got left. Uh, Monty Taylor, 27 years old, from Delaware, a personal trainer, single, and I absolutely see some showman's potential uh, with this guy. Friendly. Let me, let me tell you a very quick story. When I saw his picture, my wife saw his picture, uh, I said, man, he, he looks so friendly. My wife said, oh, he's got the best, best smile and then we talked to my daughter, who also saw the cast release, and she said the same thing. He looks like the friendliest guy in the cast. There's something about that picture and the way that Monty carries himself that just looks like a very charismatic, very nice guy. I think that's going to do wonders for him inside the house. And yeah, I think it could lead to a showmance as well. Uh, we'll see. I, I mentioned he's a personal trainer. Six foot four, another one of the big guys. I think he's going to be an absolute competition beast. Uh, he talks about the fact he, he figures people are going to stereotype him as just a guy who likes to work out. And I'm sure that's, that is going to be what they think. Find out. He also has a mechanical engineering degree. Shout out to another engineer. I just bore for me to be cheering on with, with Monte. Uh, but he's got a mechanical engineering degree. He talks about the fact he doesn't like people who overshare and he likes to keep information quiet. He's worried that people may not think they can read them that well. And that may make them, less willing to work with them and all of that. And that's valid. You, you've got to sometimes give out a few tidbits here and there to, to keep people uh, invested in you. But it also sounds like he understands that information is gold in the Big Brother house and, and that's going to work out well. I, I said there could be a, a showman's potential. I, I absolutely believe that. Here's the thing. I think Monty's going to make it all the way to the very end. I think Monty could be a final two contestant. Uh, so certainly final five. But, but again, I'm calling Monty as a, as a final two. Maybe Maybe the winner of the whole thing. I'm that high on Monty and his game based on the little bit I saw. All right. A little longer than I planned, but well, that's all right. The, the cast preview, it's tough to talk about these house guests uh, in too short a time period. All right. Next house guest we've got Nicole Layog. I hope I'm pronouncing that all right. 41 years old. Uh, first of our two uh, 40, 41 year olds in the, uh, in the house uh, from Florida. Uh, she's a chef, but before that, she was a former police officer. We know how well police do. Uh, howdy, Derek. Uh, yeah, Derek did well. Over in Survivor, we had Tony and we had Sarah. Police seem to do pretty well. I think uh, Nicole probably has that ability to read people, maybe have an understanding of when they may not be completely truthful with her. I think that's going to come in handy. Being a chef, she obviously is going to be cooking in the kitchen. I think that's going to, uh, to get people uh, wanting to keep her around just a little bit longer as well. Uh, she also, she looks like an absolute comp beast uh, as far as the ladies go. I think she's going to win enough competitions to keep herself safe, to build some power around her and everything else. Uh, she talks about the fact that she doesn't want to work with floaters. She may place a little too much value on loyalty and integrity. She may not be willing to turn on a dime and make some hard calls as quickly as she has to because of, of the integrity issue. Uh, but with that being said, I think, I think Nicole's going all the way. Nicole is my winner's pick for this season. I, I think she makes it to the end, and I can easily see Nicole winning this whole game. 
I, I think it's going to be Nicole and Monty in the final two, and either one of them could, could finish up. That's that's Boss Hogs predictions right now. All right, next house guest. So we've got Paloma Aguilar, 22 years old from California, interior designer, another single uh, house guest. Uh, Paloma's the youngest in the house, uh, 22 years old. So she's, she, she, yeah, she's definitely the youngest. Uh, she figures that people are going to consider her ditzy and just kind of not real serious in the house. Uh, she's talking about the fact that she doesn't want to work with two faced people or manipulators. Well, you're playing the wrong game, Paloma, if that's the case, because there's going to be a lot of two faced people and there. Everyone's going to be manipulating everyone else. That's the story of Big Brother. So, uh, she's going to have to learn to adapt to that because there, there's a lot of a lot of people like that in the house. Uh, but she thinks that people may not really relate to her very well because she keeps things close to her. Uh, and she thinks people may not be able to read her well, and therefore they just won't feel as tight with her from a connection standpoint. Eh, that's a valid concern. Uh, so she seems self-aware uh, about that. I don't think that she's watched that much uh, Big Brother uh, previously. Uh, so we'll see how her knowledge of the game goes. I do think there's showman's potential and that could really change the way the game is played and her alliances and how she relates to people and all that. But right now I'm calling for Paloma probably to get booted uh, in the, the beginnings phase of the jury phase. I think she'll probably go six or seven, something like that. All right. Next house guest, we've got Taylor Hale, 27 years old from Michigan. Officially, she lists her, her job as a personal stylist, but I've seen enough on the internet and such just in the last few hours. She's also a, a pageant queen from the Detroit, from Michigan area. And uh, so, so she's got that side of her as well. Uh, she's talked about in one of her interviews there. Mom gave her the bit of advice of let everyone in there think you're stupid. Hey, it's, it's okay if they think that. And, and so she's, she's talked about the fact that she's going to let people think that she's stupid uh, and that she's only there for a showmance. And so people will underestimate her while she does all kinds of cunning and plotting and planning and everything else. She's kind of taking the cat done approach to, uh, to Big Brother, which worked out well for cat. Uh, so now, I think Taylor's going to do really well. I, I truly do. Uh, she talks about that she wants to work with good strategists, that she's not necessarily the best, best strategist, uh, or, or at least that she wants other people to be the primary strategist. Because she said, once you get to the point where everyone within the line starts picking each other off, they go for the strategist first. So I think she's referencing like Tiffany from, from last season. She doesn't want to be the top dog in terms of planning this game out. But she wants to be with a lot of people that are good strategy players. And it's a valid approach. We'll, we'll see how that works. Uh, it does seem like she is a longtime Big Brother fan. I see with Taylor as well, showman's potential. She talks about that she's going to kind of play that out. Now, is it going to be a serious showman's or not? We'll find out. But I think Taylor is going to do well. I'm, I'm calling for Taylor to, to be a final five uh, finish uh, this season. And then finally, <coughs> our, our final player, the oldest player in the house at 47 years old, Terrence Higgins from Chicago, Illinois. He's a bus operator. He's married. So no, no showmances for Terrence. A special spot in my heart for, for the older guy playing the game of Big Brother. I, I would be cheering him on every step of the way. Uh, he says he's going to really play the, the funny guy, the sarcastic guy, the, the life of the party. Uh, he's going to really try to ingratiate himself with, I guess that's the right word, right? He's really going to try to be the life of the party with, with everyone else. Uh, he's worried that people might not, might not like his, his alpha vibe. And I do think you've got to be careful, especially being the older player, trying to fit in with everyone else. If you come across as too much of the dad character, too much about trying to lead the way, uh, that, that can rub some of the younger house guests a, a little bit the, the wrong way. I think he's going to have to be careful and just kind of go with the flow, let some of these alpha folks run the game, at least in the beginning, and make sure that he's incorporated himself in with everyone else. And then maybe you can take a little bit more control. But I do think that's a valid concern uh, if he has a hard time letting other people take charge in the beginning. Uh, we'll find out. He does not like people who don't stick to their plans. He wants it all to be laid out. And if things start deviating, that's going to upset him a little bit. Expect the unexpected is all I got to say on that. I'm going to be cheering for Terrence every bit of the way. But with that being said, I feel like it's a betrayal to even do it. But from a forecast standpoint, I think Terrence could go out pre-jury. I think he'll be one of the first five out the door. I, I, so, I so hope Terrence proves me wrong. I want to see another older uh, player do well in this game. 
just don't know if it's going to be this season. But again, it, it's all, it's all, we're all going to find out over the next three and a half months. So there you have it, guys. Longer than I planned, but a lot of folks to talk about. So we'll leave it as it is. Uh, starting tomorrow night, we get the actual move-in episode, an hour and a half long. A couple hours after that, we get the live feeds. And I'm really excited about that. For those of you who haven't checked out my show before, please go out there, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Starting tomorrow night, uh, or I guess Thursday morning, every morning I'm going to be releasing about a 15, 20 minute long overnight feeds recap where I'll just quickly go through, watch all night long, take the, the key points that happened overnight, give them to you in a very quick so you can listen to it on the way to work, uh, TV while you're getting ready for work, school, things like that. Uh, so you can get a very quick uh, summary of what happened overnight. So you talk about your friends at the water cooler and, and everything else. So I'll be doing that all season long. And again, if you, if you would, please subscribe, turn on your notifications. And it's going to be an incredible Big Brother 24 season. I'm so excited. Guys, y'all have a great one. I'm excited for tomorrow night. We'll know so much more about these players once we see the first five or 10 minutes of their conversations with each other. But until then, guys, y'all have a great one. SKD 143. Cheers, my friends. Bye. All right. That was quick. We already have an update. We already have a cast change. Unfortunately, we have lost Marvin. I know there's all kinds of rumors out there. Sounds like maybe there's a conflict with, with the fact he was on America's Got Talent and approvals and all that. Could be that. Could be tested positive for COVID. We don't know what the reason is, but Marvin is gone. We have a brand new cast member. Let us introduce to you Joseph Abden, 24 years old, from Florida. That's another person we got from Florida. A lot of Florida uh, this year. Another person from Florida, Joseph, is an attorney. Yeah, we're going to have two attorneys in the house this year. I don't think he'll tell anyone that he's a, an attorney either. Uh, seems like a nice guy. Uh, I saw a very quick interview with him. I have very little, few details, but seems like a nice enough guy. So I hate to lose Marvin, but I'm so happy that Joseph gets his chance to to play the game in the Big Brother house. Can you imagine this guy's emotions? He's sitting there in the hotel room and sequester forever. I'm sure probably someone came in and said, yeah, it's not going to happen this season, Joseph. But thanks for thanks for showing up and hanging out for a little while. And now less than 24 hours before the game starts, someone walked into his hotel room probably this afternoon and said, hey, guess what, my friend? There's a vacancy in the Big Brother house after all. You're going to be on the show. What a range of emotions. It's crazy. I just, it just goes, show. It goes to show. Never give up. You, you never know what's going to happen in this game. Expect the unexpected. So, Sorry, Marvin, but welcome to Joseph. Uh, we now have maybe our final cast of 16, at least for now. So one additional cast change. I wanted to throw it onto the update as well. Let's see what happens over the next 24 hours. Cheers, guys. Bye.